All right, right there. Right so, right there, that that's in the center of the screen right now is a dwarf mud crab. So, that one's actually a really big one, and that is the eel. He just poked his head out. Fire eel I just got yesterday. But the uh, dwarf mud crab is there, and I'm so happy that I got it on film because I don't see them very often. I know there's about six of them in here if they're still all alive. And I see this one every once in a while. He's living here, I guess. And there's another one that lives over here in this corner, and I see him every once in a while. But they blend in really well. He might actually be there, and I just can't see him. But, um... Anyway, this is after I've, t I've removed the uh, crayfish, and it's looking much better. Uh, replanted some of the plants, and <clears throat> there is there are just so many shrimp in here, which I'm really really happy about. I think that's really really cool. That's what. I, was most interested in doing is making or getting the habitat for the shrimp. The bottom is quite filthy, and I've actually just ordered a vacuum siphon, so I'm gonna start cleaning it up once that gets in from China. It's two dollars and twenty something cents on eBay, shipped from China. Thank you, yours more, Joel Salvino. You're the man for the tip. And so, anyway, I just figured I'd get the crab. I don't know if you can tell, but that's it right in the center. That's the crab. And that's his silhouette there. Well, he just moved a little bit, so you see his mouth parts moving a little bit there. It's pretty cool. So, that's that. That's a really big one. And, uh, cool.